The problem with schedulers are, one, they need to be informed in intelligent decisions. No, we cannot put a neural net in there. Otherwise, 90% of the CPU would be spent running the neural net. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. All right, we're going to need some theory first. Let's use a deadline-based scheduler because deadline is good to prioritize system responsiveness. We're going to model the deadline as the task runtime plus the time slice that the task is going to use, all scaled by the task priority. Now, the runtime part is easy because it's an information from the past, but the time slice part is difficult because I would need to predict the future. Therefore, let's use a neural network to do that. We're going to input the task name and priority into the network. Uh, the neural network is going to run some math and it's going to speed out the predicted time slice that we're going to add to our deadline. Now, we need a workload to train our model. So let's use WebGL Aquarium, which is really good to measure system responsiveness. We're going to fire stress and G in the background, generate some scheduling trace. Now, the trace looks like this. There's a task name, priority, and the actually used time slice. That's the important information that we are going to use to train our neural network. Now, the network has been implemented using PyTorch. Here's some details. I've decided to go with two hidden layers, 32 neurons each, L1 loss as the error function, and add and W as the optimizer. So we can train our model now. That's the most computationally intensive part. So I'm going to speed it up by 10x. But once the model is trained, it is trained. and we can import that in our Rust scheduler and run the model. So here's the code of the Rust scheduler. I've been using the torch crate to import the model. And here's the part where the neural network is initialized. There's also a predict function that is the actual predictor that spits out the predicted time slice that is then added to the deadline. And the deadline will determine which task runs first. And we can see soon the relevant part there it is the uh, task runtime and the last piece is the predicted time slice now we're going to build our scheduler we go back to our workload we start stress ng in the background and we're getting 30 40 fps with the default linux scheduler we start our ai assisted scheduler and boom we get 60 fps which is pretty cool considering that this scheduler is running a neural net inside bye